What's up guys, I'm your host Big Code Labs, and in this video I'm going to talk about photoresistors. Photoresistors, depending on how much sunlight it detects, the value of its resistance will decrease or increase. And that's why, hence the name photoresistance, it measures the how much sunlight it gets, and depending on how much sunlight it gets, um, its value of its resistance will increase or decrease. So make sure to keep watching these videos all the way through because I'm going to be explaining thoroughly how these circuits work so that you can make it yourself also. It's an experiment then, that's what's most importantly. Ultimately my goal is to get others interested in electronics. So make sure to go subscribe so that I can upload more cool YouTube content. In the future I'll be talking about Arduinos and making lessons on Arduinos. So uh, make sure to also watch those. And yeah, let's get action to the demonstration. What's up guys? I'm your host, Big Code Labs. Welcome back to a new video. I'm going to be showing you guys what a photoresistor can do and how it functions in real life. And make sure to watch the whole video so you guys can get step-by-step -step tutorials on how you can build your own circuit with a photoresistor. Let's get started. So first what you're going to need is there's a different way on actually how you can build your own circuits. Just put both pins on one terminal. It doesn't matter on which side of the breadboard. Just make sure it gets connected like that, just like it's shown on the video on the breadboard. And then here's the photoresistor. This is the tool that we're going to use that um, detects sunlight and that it's going to make the LED turn off and on uh, depending on how much sunlight the photoresistor detects. Just like this. Since it's a resistor, it doesn't matter which orientation you place the leads, it's still going to resist the flow of electricity and allowing your LED to turn on safely without getting fused. Sorry, I'm trying to find my LED. Um, just a little reminder, the longest leg of an LED is going to be the positive and the shortest is the negative. Grab this black wire. We can be, we're going to be connecting it. Oops, this one's supposed to be on the red terminal. Go to make sure that the wires are not touching. Because if they're touching, they're going to cause a short circuit, and it's going to fuse the LED. It's going to explode it. And if you touch the LED, you're going to burn your finger. So you have to be safe. So it's connected on the negative terminal, which is the blue, and resist photoresistors can be connected on the red terminal, which is the positive. So now that we are ready, we're going to use alligator clips to make sure we clip on hard on the battery. So I got a, ye a yellow alligator clip and a blue alligator, a red alligator clip, and these alligator clips are going to be connected to our battery, just like so. And yeah, the smallest hole is the positive and the biggest is going to be the negative. For a positive, it's going to be on the small hole. Oops. And then, well our battery is connected and um, yeah, our LED is turning on. That's the first step. You want to make sure that your LED is turning on because if it's not turning on, it's probably because your photoresistor is connected on the wrong terminal or your wire is connected to the wrong terminal. Or maybe your LED is uh, switched and the signs are not quite the signs are not quite matching on your circuit. So make sure you're paying attention to all those factors uh, if you want to build your circuit. So now your LED is turning on, we're going to be testing this photoresistor. And what this photoresistor is doing, depending on how much sunlight it detects, it will increase or decrease the resistance value. So if it increases the resistance value, the LED will turn on. If it starts to decrease the resistance value, LED will start to get dimmer and the voltage will start to drop. So that's what we're going to be observing and experimenting in this video, so make sure to watch till the end. So if I tap it, as you can tell it starts to get dimmer because we are limiting the amount of sunlight the resistor is detecting. So I'm going to show that to you guys again. As you can tell the LED is getting dimmer. If I turn on one of these lamps, if I turn off one of these lamps, as you can tell, the LED is still turning on, but if I touch it, it gets a bit more dimmer because there's not much sunlight uh, being detected. Now, with our second one, 
turn that off. I try to cover this, limiting as much sunlight as possible. As you can tell, the LED is slightly getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer each time. The resistance value is dropping, so that's why the LED uh, starts to get dimmer each time. Just like so, I want to make sure I cover the whole thing. I want to make sure you guys see at the same time as well that this LED is dropping constantly on its lighting. Pretty cool, huh? This would serve a really cool uh, science fair project. But hopefully, you guys are staying home safe. Now I'm turning off this light. So now the LED is getting brighter because now the sunlight, the photoresistors are detecting light, so that's why the resistance value is increasing. Now we'll turn this light on, and we're back to how we were started. So I really do thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure that if you have all these materials, be safe and follow each step that you're seeing in this video so you can um, have fun and enjoy the circuit. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe so I can make more content. And I'll see you guys next time.